Hello and welcome to a new video about simple electric circuits. Today we are going to talk about, well, current flow. Huh? Well, let's, let's start with flow. Let's start with flow. Let's pretend this little piece of, of wire now is a hose. Yeah? And if I am let water flow through this hose, yeah? and if I let water flow rush in here and out here, yeah? how much water flow comes, if here is one, one liter per second, yeah? which will be tremendously at this size of, of hose, but however, yeah? so if here is one liter per second water rushing in, how much is exiting this hose? Also one liter per second. Because there is no junction, there is no, no separation. All water which has, is entering is leaving this hose as well. And well, what happens if I do it like that? Is there any difference? No, there is no difference. If I do it like that, there is exactly, it's exactly the same. And even if I do it like that, if I make a node inside or even two nodes or whatever, if I just make a very complex, complex thing here, huh? whatever is entering here will get out here. And this is exactly the same also for current, our charges, because all charges, they cannot just get away. All charges entering here must exit here and vice versa. And this is always true. Right? This is true on a piece of wire. This is true on a different device like that. Uh, so this is a uh, Beltier device. Yeah? Every every current which is rushing in here must go out here, and every current which is rushing in here must go out here. Yeah? It's the same. There is no current. There's we will we will get to know an element, uh, a capacitor uh, later on, where this is not exactly true but only on a very microscopic level, let's say. But basically, it is true. Yeah? Here, this is, this is how uh, this is working. Oh, so like here, yeah? this device here, this device. Whatever is entering somewhere must go out somewhere. And this is already a law. This law was, was found or postulated by Kirchhoff and it's called first Kirchhoff's law or Kirchhoff's first law, the so-called junction rule. And I will write this down now. Let's, so let's say we have here a node, a junction, and we have several wires connected to that node. Does not really matter how much. Uh, this is the node. And now I just draw in current. So here we have an I1 rushing in. Here we have an I2 rushing out. An I3 rushing out. An I4 rushing in. And an I5 rushing out. So I just used, used it somehow. You know, we can select somehow. And now I think about uh, uh, an area around this junction, around this node. Uh, and now I'll have a look what is going inside the node. Uh, inside the node we have I1. This is going in. I2 is getting out. I3 is getting out. I4 is going in, yeah? and whatever goes in must come out at the same point in time, must come out somewhere else. So what, this is what's going in, and this must be equals, now what is going out, I2 is going out, plus I3 is going out, and I5 is coming out of this node. Yeah? So that's one way to look at, the, at this junction rule, uh, Kirchhoff's first law. 
everything. The sum of all currents going in the node must equal the sum of all currents going out of the node. That's one way to look at it. Or if you say, okay, what is coming out? I I'm say it's negative because it's leaving. And what is coming in, it's positive. I am because it's added to the node. So I can also have a look at it and say, okay, I want comes in. It adds to the node, positive. I2 will leave the node. I3 is leaving the node. I4 is added to the node. And I5 is leaving the node. And if I make the total sum of all things adding, and it must be zero. I make this little uh, a stroke here uh, to separate the zero from an O. Uh, it's not O A O O O A O A. Yeah? All sum of all <laughs> sum of all currents is O A. Yeah, no, yeah, sum of all currents is zero amps. Yeah? It's also a way to look at it. So total sum of all I's O must be zero amps. And this is actually what, what Kirchhoff's first law is about. Yeah? Sum of all currents is zero. This is a usual way to, to say it, but you can also have a look at that. Whatever is rushing in must come out somewhere. Yeah? And this is true for a simple junction like that. This is why the name junction, junction rule comes from. Yeah? This is true for more complex things like that. Yeah? This is true for even more complex things like, like that. Yeah? This is true for whole cities if it has to. Yeah? If you're uh, looking at the, the city as a junction, as a big junction at a, at a node, yeah? everything which is going in must come out somewhere. That's true. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah? Let's have a look at this. Huh? So actually, if I'm now pretending this is my, my node, this is my junction. I can select the how, however I like. Right, and I will just draw, draw this. Okay. Here, here. With here connector, with here connector, with here connector, with here connector. Ooh, and here are the wires leading to this, to those connectors. Yeah. And here I just say, it's really complex. I just say complex circuit. Okay. Complex. Can, can be something. Yeah. So we have a complex circuit, and now again I'm choosing something. Yeah? So I say, okay, here is I1, here is I2, here is I3, and here is I4. What would the uh, Kirchhoff's first law now apply to this node mean? Yeah? So whatever is going inside, I1. plus I4 equals whatever comes out, I2 plus I3. Or the other representation, I1 is going in, positive, I2 is going out, negative, I3 is going out, negative, I4 is going in, positive, and the sum of all must be zero amps. Those are the two implementations the two variants of how to say Kirchhoff's first law. It's pretty simple, I would say.
Well, first law. This already indicates if there is somewhere first, nobody would say it's the first if there would not be at least a second one. And it's exactly that way. Yeah, there is also a Kirchhoff second law. Kirchhoff second law we will discuss in next video. For this video, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.